Hey guys, welcome to Lesson Seller. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a central store for policy definitions. In other words, how to create a central store so you can store your ADMX or administrative templates that you can use with Group Policy Editor. And also in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install Office ADMX files or Office administrative templates that you can use with Group Policy Editor to manage Microsoft Office settings across your domain. So please join with me and let's see how it's done. Okay, so this is a brand new Windows Server 2019 that I've built specifically for this tutorial. It has been promoted to a domain controller and my domain is mylab.test. So I'm going to quickly show you how it looks out of the box just so that you have an idea of how it looks like and what's the benefit of having a central repository uh, for your policy definitions or ADMX files. So by default, when you have um, a domain controller in a production environment, you usually have two or more domain controllers just for load balancing. And if in case one domain controller was to uh, malfunction, you always have a backup. So the reason for creating a central repository or a central policy store is to be able to sync your group policy settings across your entire domain. So the domain controllers will talk to each other and they will sync the group policy settings across the board. So in case one of your domain controllers were to malfunction, um, it will have no impact on your um, group policies um, as far as the effect of the group policy is concerned. So by default, what happens is when you have a brand new domain controller, this is just a single um, domain controller, um, you can, um, if you have one, which I don't recommend, but in case if you have one domain controller, there's no need for you to have a, a central policy store. Um, in a single domain control environment, uh, the policies are saved in the local uh, C drive where the operating system is installed, and you go to Windows, and um, you will see policy definitions folder. So this is where um, locally the group policy um, settings or group policy templates are um, stored. As you can see, there are a number of ADMX files. These just get installed uh, by default um, when you install Windows um, Server Operating System. And this is universal for any uh, Windows Server Operating System. Now, if I was to go to Group Policy Management, I just want you to pay attention to one thing. I've got a sample policy here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and edit the policy. And I'm going to expand it. Go to policies, administrative templates. I'm going to go to policies here as well and expand to administrative um, templates. Let me just expand this one. So as you can see, I want you to pay attention to this statement here. Policy definitions, ADMX files retrieved from local computer. ADMX files retrieved from local computer for both user configuration and computer configuration. This is the default setting when you first build a, a domain controller. Now, when we set up a central store and complete this tutorial, I will note this section. I will show you the section again. And in here, you will say, you will see that the policies are retrieved from a central store. So uh, just keep this in mind towards the end of the tutorial. Um, I will come to this section again and you will see that this has changed to show you um, that it is being retrieved from a central repository or a central policy definition folder. In order to create a central policy definition store, log into your domain controller using a domain administrator account. Go to File Explorer, this PC. Go to C Drive, Windows, and look for System Volume Folder, which is this one. Double click on it. Click on the subfolder with the same name, System Volume. And in here, 
you will see your own domain name in your production. In this test environment, my domain is mylab.test. Double click on your domain. Double click on policies folder. Now in here, if you have had your system for quite a while, you may see some policies there and you may also see a folder by the name of policy definitions. Now, if you already have a folder by the name of policy definitions, your job is done. There's nothing more for you to do. But in this example, since this is a much newer environment, I need to create a new folder and rename it to policy definitions, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay, now that we have created our central store for policy definitions, the next step is to go ahead and download Office Admin Templates or ADMX files. In order to do this, go to the URL that you're seeing on the screen. I will put this link in the description box below so you guys can get it from there. Scroll down until you see the download button. Click download. In here, you will be given two choices. You can download the templates in 32-bit or you can download the templates in 64-bit. In this example, and I think you should too, I'm going to go ahead with 64-bit. Select 64-bit and hit next. This will download the setup file to your computer. Okay, now that we have downloaded Office ADMX files, it's time to extract them. Click on the downloaded file. In this example, I'll put it on my desktop for easy access. Accept the license terms. Click continue. In here, it'll ask you to select a folder to extract the files. I'm going to select my desktop, but feel free to select any folder that you like. Click OK. This process can take a couple of seconds. There you go. Click OK and double click on the ADMX folder. In here, you will see all Office ADMX templates, and in here, you will see all the language files. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select all the ADMX files, click Copy, go to C Drive, Windows, System Volume, System Volume, Domain Folder, Policies, Policy Definitions folder, which we created during this tutorial, double click on it and paste it. That's all. So you have copied the ADMX files. Now we need to copy the language file. So let me minimize this. I'll go back to ADMX folder. I need English USA. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that folder copy and go back to the same location that we copied the ADMX files and paste them. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now let's go to group policy management and see how this is showing in there. Okay, I have opened up group policy management console in my domain controller. As you can see, I've selected a random GPO just so that I can show you the changes we have made. Let me click on it, right click on it and click edit to edit the GPO. I will expand the window so you guys can see everything very clearly. I'm going to expand the policies folder. I'm going to expand the administrative templates folder. Now, this is great to see. As you know, when I showed you early in the video, these policies were coming locally before we made the change. And since we've created the central store, as you can see for both computer configuration and user configuration, these ADMX templates are being retrieved from the central store, which is great. And also you can see all the templates that we have copied over to the central store are appearing here. You can use these admin templates to tight the security settings around your office applications and give certain users features that they need and block the features that they don't need. For example, you can use these admin templates to block macros, which can harm your computers and your network if used maliciously. So explore the options. I'm sure you'll be impressed with the amount of settings that you can control. 
If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please consider subscribing. I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.